what is up vlog and welcome to what is about to be Q2 of 2024. <laughs> How has it already been three months? That feels insane. Um, welcome to another monthly reset vlog. This is exciting because it's been a full quarter of 2024, which means we have been doing habits that I put in place on January 1st for three whole months, which I still can't really wrap my head around. I want to say that it's gone by so fast and I feel like I haven't even like, like it hasn't been three months, but at the same time, I feel like I've really lived every single month, like to its fullest because of the way that I've been instilling these habits and like planning my months this year. Like I just feel like every day is accounted for and I feel every single one, like journaling, sketching, planning out the month, making little plans. Like I think all of it just, it, it really gives me my full month that I deserve and want. So that's really exciting and I feel good about that. Hey, today is Monday um, and the first thing I did was order groceries. I order all my groceries through the Walmart app if you don't use it. I'm not sponsored or anything. I don't get paid to tell you this or even have any reason to except for that it's genuinely the best tool on earth for ordering groceries because you don't have to walk around a store. You don't get sidetracked and buy a bunch of things because you're hungry and as you're adding things to your cart you can see the total as you add items. So I usually order my groceries every Monday morning. I wake up and before work, I shop, I hit order, and then it's literally here by Monday afternoon, and I end up getting, I literally order a rotisserie chicken every Monday. It gets here by the afternoon, and then guess what? I get to have rotisserie chicken fresh for lunch, and someone brings it to my door. How great is that? Today, a new episode of Saddle Bunny went up. It's already up. It actually went up yesterday. Um, I need to post the graphic for that. Um, I need to plan Easter. That's a little interesting. That's different than other monthly resets um and i need to edit my vlog that i shot this weekend and then we have our regular monthly reset stuff we need to do our habit check-in we need to review the books that we read this month all kinds of little things that we have to get done as april approaches easter encroaches did i just make a poem <laughs> am i literally a poet um today is march 28th and we're going to be planning Easter stuff today. I already planned kind of what we're eating and stuff. You guys aren't gonna see my actual Easter celebration because, well, at least I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna enjoy both being with my family and not trying to get everybody on the vlog. Um, you might get a few clips, not sure yet. This is a monthly reset, so it's not really part of what we're doing here. Um, but I do need to, as we reset for the next month, plan Easter. Um, and my family and I today are gonna go shopping for a few things. Today we're gonna shop for some Easter stuff. We've got a little, cute little craft we're gonna do at Easter. And that's gonna be the first thing I reset. Next thing I wanna talk about is last month's monthly reset. I talked about book club and what I'm doing for my book club for the following month. And I like including you guys on what book club's reading. If you wanna join book club, please join. Link is always in the description. Book club's super fun. We run it through WhatsApp. We meet every month on Zoom and we talk about the book and it is the highlight of my month every month. That one meeting, that's what keeps me going throughout the month. But in this monthly reset, I am gonna have to finish the book Scythe before the month is over because I told book club that I was going to be reading this for March. Now, book club read, hold on. Book Club read The Hurricane Wars for March. Uh, this is, at the end of the month, these two books were tied and I ended up hooking up Hurricane Wars because a girl from Book Club had already read Scythe, so I didn't wanna make her reread it. Um, and also I was super interested in this title. The off, the agent that represents Allie Hazelwood and also the author of The Mortifying Ordeal of Falling in Love, Draco Baffoy in The Mortifying Ordeal of Falling in Love, um, she represents this author and I heard that it was Kylo Ren fan fiction that was published. I was really excited to read it. This was the biggest letdown of the century and sent me into a book slump spiral. So I messaged book club and was like, hey guys, I finished this early in the month. Thank God I did. If you don't wanna go buy this, you don't wanna pick it up because it's a hardcover, new release, like, and it's gonna suck. I, like I'm telling you, there's no redeeming things about this book. Do not read this book. Don't do it. It's terrible. I hate saying that because I want Thea to win, but Thea, this was a major L, major L. Could talk about it for years. But I told them they could read Scythe instead if they wanted to, so I'm gonna read Scythe as well. That way we can talk about it in our meeting. So I'm going to be finishing this book this week um, while we get ready for the book club meeting, which is gonna be on like April 6th or something. Now, last month I showed you me setting up the voting system for book club and how we pick our next book. Next month, I am being a dictator of book club since it's my book club. Sometimes I get to, sometimes I get to be the dictator. And this month for April, the new book, The Familiar by Lee Bardugo is coming out. Uh, it comes out on April 9th. I am so, so excited to read this book. Lee Bardugo is, I 
president, quite frankly. Uh, my heart, soul. If the woman needed a lung, I'd give it to her. If she needed a kidney, I'd be there. I would do anything for her. And so we're gonna be reading The Familiar in book club, which I'm super excited about. I'm not gonna be doing any voting for book club or explaining to you what we're reading next. I'm just gonna go out and tell you, cause like I said, I'm a dictator this month. Now, in like an hour, I'm reading my family for lunch and we're gonna go grab stuff for Easter and get things together. And then when I get back home, I think I'm going to start off my resetting by planning out my April, kind of what I wanna do, what the month looks like. April's gonna be a big month for me because I'm going on a trip. I'm gonna be at a creative assistant uh, for the last week of April at Stagecoach. So crazy, I'm so excited, it's gonna be really fun. My friend Shaylee's going um, and she needs somebody to make content for her while she's there and help her, so I'm gonna be doing that. And we're gonna be having fun in California at the end of the month. But before that, I need to plan out what the month looks like, videos, stuff like that, and try to get a handle on just my April and what it looks like. So when we get back from running around today, that's what we're gonna do. Good morning, girly pops. Oh. I always choose to extend the tripod while I'm taking a clip. Why, I don't know. So. Yesterday we went and got dinner with my mom and dad and then we came home and I read, you know what actually, hold on, come with me. I started this clip without all the props. We've gotta have the props. Last time I put my camera on the bed, it fell and I broke a lens, but you know, I guess I just never do learn. You're crooked. I don't think that there's a way for me to fix that. I can just hold the tripod. This is very chaotic. Yesterday, after we got home, I read Scythe by Neil Shusterman, which is what I need to finish for book club in order to go to the meeting for this month. And I am currently on page, let me take a look, 125. We got a good chunk of this done yesterday. My feelings on this, this is YA, and I, ha I don't read a lot of YA anymore, which is interesting because I used to read exclusively YA, like even as an adult, and it was like the only genre I liked, and I used to be like, I just can't read adult fantasy. Now I read adult fantasy, high fantasy, stuff and this is like so different to me now and so strange to read now but um the what's mostly different about this is that it's just very digestible i feel like i can speed read this with no problem whereas adult fantasy it's not like a slog but it definitely requires more of me i blew through this i read for like maybe a couple hours yesterday and i was 125 pages in which is not really normal for me usually it would take me a lot longer than that so we got a good chunk of this in i think we're 25 percent of the way through or a little bit more than that which is really exciting um and yeah that, knocking something off the to-do list we're gonna keep resetting for may i didn't go get easter stuff but i think i've pretty much figured out everything we're doing everything we're eating everything's planned i only need to go get a few things so i'm not that worried about it um and now today we're gonna do resettery. The first thing we're gonna do is, so last month, pre-mental breakdown, I recorded a video talking about all the books I've read in 2024. Why can I not remember the year it is? Am I okay? I don't know. Anyway, I, re I recorded a book, a, a video talking about all the books I've read in 2024. Well, I didn't end up posting it. It was supposed to be like a January, February wrap up that I posted in March, didn't end up posting it, had a mental breakdown, and now the footage is like super out of date and like not to me usable. So I think today we're going to record a video recapping what I've read this year, or at least talking about like best and worst books I've read this year. I don't know. Some kind of books I've read video needs to get recorded today so that we can post it. Um, and then we also need to start resetting our notion and kind of what we're gonna do next month and what that looks like. So that's the plan. I don't know if you can tell, but we've gotten ready for the day. Dramatic change since the last time you saw me. Um, I'm gonna get ready to sit down and record this what I've read this year video. I have a stack of books sitting right here because I honestly, like the further we get into the year, the more I forget what I've read. And I probably need to go back and read my Goodreads reviews. This is the stack I have currently. But we're gonna record this really quickly and get our reading rack up done. And then I'm hoping, honestly, that I can edit this today and have it posted like tomorrow morning, if possible. That way we have our reading wrap up posted and good to go. We'll see if that's doable for me. We don't know yet, we don't know yet. We just finished our recap reading video. She's done. I haven't edited it yet, but it's all on the computer. I cleaned all my SD cards, everything's good to go. Sad news, two of my SD cards are corrupted and completely useless now. 
So I think I'm gonna order some new ones. And I also have, I want to get some studio lights so that I have an easier time recording like stand up point at the wall videos that I do because the lighting in here is just not amazing when I try to do those. So I feel like I need to get some type of light so that it makes it a little bit easier. And then I can also record at night, which right now I'm kind of bound by like daytime and how many hours of light I get, which as we get into summer won't be as much of a problem because summer obviously it's like brighter much longer, but in the winter time, it was really a problem for me. And the lighting in here is not perfect all the time. Like it's fine, but like if I have to pick a wall to stand on, like this wall gets no light and this wall gets like awkward diagonal light. All right, girlies, this is the third time we've done this this year. Is it the third time? Fourth time? Fourth time. This is the fourth time we've done this this year. Um, skidding, sitting down, planning our notion, getting ready for the next month. Let's plan April. So here is my monthly notion board where I like plan out. These are like my mood boards for each month. Um, we're gonna go into Marches and we're gonna talk about March a little bit, okay? So I feel like March is the first month that I didn't really accomplish everything I wanted to accomplish in. I had like a pretty big mental breakdown this month and ended up kind of being a bump in the road for me, which really isn't a bad thing. I mean, we do need to learn to like sail through these and still be able to do all the things we wanna do. I kept journaling, I kept drawing through the month, for through the mental breakdown and all that, but I didn't do a lot of the things I wanna do. Did I thrift clothes? Yes, I didn't vlog it or anything. You guys didn't see it. I also did produce multiple pieces of digital art. Um, I didn't go to the Natural History Museum again, and then I almost went to an escape room, but it didn't end up working out. We had the plans to, and it didn't end up working out. I feel like this month went by faster than all the other months, and I know it's because I just, that first couple weeks where I was just feeling down and not good, like, really sucked out of my month, the ex like, my month experience, and that bums me out. Like, I'm trying to avoid that. I gotta be honest with you guys about this whole best year ever thing and then and the habits and the mood boards and the goals and stuff though because like I need to tell you guys when this like I need to tell you guys when I slip up and when things aren't working so there you go we are gonna get started on the April one um, I am gonna carry over a couple of these things into April like for sure the creative act I didn't end up reading that book I talked a lot about that in the March reset I wanted to read it and this month I am for sure reading it I'm gonna order it on Amazon maybe we'll do that while we're recording this clip I don't know first Let's go over and start the um, April page. So here we go, we're gonna make a new page. Page, April, what icon should we use for April? You know what I'm gonna use? I'm gonna use, do I have a, I'm gonna use a cow. We'll just do this. Um, I'm actually going to stagecoach this month. I'm gonna be creative assisting for a friend of mine, which I'm really excited about. And so, this is gonna be a fun month, okay? We're gonna make this the full width because I don't like it to be small. All right, cool. And then we're gonna go five columns, so columns and create five. Okay, we're gonna paste the image in and we're gonna make sure we read that this month. We are not gonna move forward with our lives without reading that book. Now, April is going to be one of the best months of the year. Why, you're asking? Two reasons, okay? First of all, the Tortured Poets Department by Taylor Swift, the new Taylor Swift album comes out. Okay, this is like really important stuff here. We're gonna put that on the Pinterest board. Tortured Poets Department. Not only that, but my favorite author in the whole world, Lee Bardugo's new book, The Familiar, comes out. We're also gonna put that on the mood board because guys, this is like really exciting stuff. We've got two new books and a new album. Like what more could we want in our life? At the, at, like let's be real here. Let's go back to April, or to March rather. Now. We are going to pick up some of this, move it over. One of the things we're gonna move over, Natural History Museum. Again, that's been on there since February and we still haven't gone. This month is the month we do this, okay? We have to go to the Natural History Museum. And we're going to read the creative act. Okay, that has to happen this month. Non-negotiables, non-negotiables. Honestly, let's actually make a heading and right here we write non-negotiables this has to happen okay now let's go find some oh i did get a tattoo in march though which was in my last vlog um which i would been talking about doing can you see my little frog he's very cute so let's go take a look at what our april is going to look like okay first of all i am obsessed with this photo of a girl reading and drinking 
this cucumber water or whatever this is. This is actually me, but with lemon water, so we're definitely taking that. Oh, these cute tulips. Okay, we're taking that. I just love flowers. I'm feeling very like, I don't know. I think this month we will definitely be, let's look up golf aesthetic, because we're golfing a lot lately, and I ordered a bunch of cute outfits. We're gonna be hitting the golf course, okay? I'm not gonna be golfing, I'm just gonna be in the cart, but let's put some golf girlies on here. Here we go, here's a great photo of a girl next to a golf cart. That, that's what I need. This is perfect because literally that's what we're gonna be doing is sitting in the golf cart. Like, we're not golfing. I love that. This girl, this is exactly what we need. See, they're, they're near a golf course but they're not golfing, because I'm not gonna be golfing. And I got cute little outfits to wear while I'm golfing, but I'm not gonna be, you know, on the course, okay? Um, now, I think we should look and see, oh, here's another cute one. See, girls, <laughs> they're around golf. They're not golfing, they're just around it. They're just near it, right? I love that. Oh, here's like a girl driving the, the cart. Like, this is the kind of stuff we need. Maybe I'll take this one. Driving range photo, okay, sure. Like. I'll, I'll take that. Let's add her. Driving range. Perfect. Like fake golf, not real golf. And then we'll add that book photo as well. We'll put that above creative act. Um, and then the tulips, I think we can put here. That would be cute. I'm loving this. Okay, cute. So cute. All right, next we are going to stagecoach. So let's look up stagecoach. I am not going to stagecoach to dress up cute, like I'm not gonna have outfits at Stagecoach, I'm not gonna be like living it up that way. I'm just gonna be attending and helping someone like take content, but I don't want to, necess I don't necessarily want to like go all out on outfits. I would like to be wearing my little tennis skirts, athletic shoes and being comfortable, still being cute, but like comfortable enjoying my life. But I'm not gonna be dressed to the nines. That's what I've decided. Okay, so we'll take this little Stagecoach sign because it's cute. Let's see, what else? Oh, here we go. Little festival, that's Coachella though, not Stagecoach. Oh, I like this photo better. And we'll take this one. Cute, stick those in there. Again, I am not going to Stagecoach to whip out my best outfit on earth and like really show everybody who's the coolest bitch. I am being a creative assistant and I'm just afraid of like, I think a lot of times when I put too much like emphasis on outfits and stuff, I end up not having a good time because I feel like my outfits aren't cute enough and I just already know that I'm not gonna wanna plan these. So like, I will be cute, but I'm not gonna be like going all out on outfits. I don't know if that makes sense and maybe it doesn't make sense to you guys, but I just wanna have fun and assist my friend and see all the musicians have a good time, not be too stressed while I'm there. I've, I've also heard that Stagecoach is like hot, long days, exhausting. So I just wanna have the least amount of pressure on me as possible, okay? That's all I'm saying. So we've got Stagecoach, we've got books, we've got Taylor Swift Tortured Poets, we've got, we're gonna travel, I guess we should get a travel photo? I guess we'll take this one. Now, what else do we wanna do in April? I think I'm gonna be gone for that whole week doing Stagecoach. You know what I kinda wanna put in here? Let's just get like a journaling photo. I really wanna journal more. I'm already journaling every day, but I just, I really wanna romanticize that as much as possible. Okay, guys? I'm loving this so far. This is looking good. We're gonna be golfing. We're gonna go to Stagecoach. We're gonna journal. We're gonna read the creative act. Um, so far, all of this looks, I think to top this off, I wanna just get a quote to stick on here. I kinda like this, that you are an explorer, your mission is to document and observe the world around you as if you've never seen it before. Take notes, collect things you find on your travels, document your findings, notice patterns, copy, trace, focus on the one thing at a time, record what you are drawn to. I really like this. Um, we're gonna put this on the board for sure. That's kind of my theme for April. I just wanna experience April and enjoy it and have a good time. Let's stick that right. Here, perfect, lovely. Okay, now I want one more quote. Let's go to my, I have like a board of quotes. We'll look at this. Um, we're gonna take this, this is resonating with me. Do not disturb yourself by imagining your whole life all at once. That's something I do often. I just get into the weeds about what 
is gonna happen to me next and I just can't I like think of everything and I can't settle on the present moment and I hate that about myself okay so we have natural history museum read the creative act what is one more goal that we can put into April hmm make one physical piece of art and that's gonna be it those are my non-negotiables okay um, we're obviously gonna read the familiar we're obviously gonna listen to tortured poets and we're gonna be going to stagecoach this is set up to be like the best month of the year pot we don't want to say the best month of the year because we want the best month of the year to be the one we're currently in so April is going to be so good it's going to be such a good month all right cool I'm feeling good I'm excited I think this is gonna be awesome and we're set the only other thing I need to do on notion is enter in my numbers for the month of March for YouTube which I need to still do I don't do that on camera if you I just don't feel like you guys want to see me put in a bunch of numbers based on my YouTube channel but I'm gonna do that and then that will be our notion so far for April Okay guys, I did it. I ordered um, The Creative Act by Rick Rubin and I had a gift card that was $30 that I've been saving and so I had another $10. So I got Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis. I've heard a lot of really good things about this book and just C.S. Lewis's more religious writings that aren't just like Chronicles of Narnia. So I got both of those. So we're definitely reading Creative Act this month. It's actually delivering today at two o'clock, which is like insane because that's in a few hours. Thank you, Amazon Prime, but also not thank you, Jeff Bezos. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go outside and read some of Scythe on the swing with my lemon water and uh, get back into this. This has manifested into a reality in my life in one of the most unreal ways thanks to Amazon Prime. This morning I said, I'm literally gonna order it and guys, look, it's here. We have it. I also ordered Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis, which I'd like to read this month. So get some non-fictions in for the month of April and really like think. Get our brains thinking. Also my headbands came and um, I'm living for it. I'm living for a headband these days, what can I say? Um, the rest of the day's plans, I need to draw and so I might actually do that now while I listen to Carrie Can Read's new video on City of Bones. And then we might dive back into this where I've now, I've read a bunch of Scythe. I've now got to page 179. We're pretty deep in there. I'd like to digest this as quickly as possible and get it as, I don't wanna say out of the way, but out of the way as I can. I'm also gonna try to peel this. Oh, good. Ugh. The creative act has a, this is one of the most beautiful books. Like they really, like Rick, you, if you were a part of the team who designed this, I just think it's got like a linen cover and I just love the little, I'm guessing this represents a record cause that's what he does. He's a producer, a music producer, but just in the type on this, so, so gorgeous. I think I'm gonna be obsessed with this. I think this is gonna change my whole life and I hope it does. Stay tuned, I'm gonna be reviewing this. Um, I don't review memoirs, but this is more of like a, a tool, not self-help, but kind of for creatives. And I will be reviewing this. So we'll see what I think about it. Come with me. Let's go make our coffee. I am, I have my sister's dogs here right now because my brother-in-law, Chris and Ethan are playing a golf tournament today. Um, you might be asking yourself, Wow, they're such cool, good golfers, they could do a tournament? No, they're some of the worst golfers I've ever seen. If you watched my last vlog, you might know that. They are like the, some of the most terrible golfers on earth, but him, Josh, and Chris are all golfing at a tournament for the fire department, it's a charity tournament, and we're just here today. Um, the dogs are outside, my sister has a giant Great Dane horse, basically, and uh, a husky, so they all run around and have fun together, and they live their best life. Today, we are going to edit a vlog and record the podcast. That is our goals for today. What else? Dr read, probably, because we need to finish Scythe before the coming week. That's my goal in my heart, to finish Scythe. So, that's it. Um, let's make coffee. Glass straw. Had to set it down kind of light, because if you throw that bad bitch in there, she's gonna break. My cat is seeing this giant dog, and she does not look happy. Kita? Just stay out of here. 
They literally both are angry that there is another two dogs in here. They just ran back into the office. So clearly not happy about the dog. This is not cold brew concentrate. This is pre-mixed cold brew concentrate. So it's already been mixed. She's flawless. Hello guys, I just finished editing my recent reads video. So that's super exciting and we've got that out of the way. And it actually got done this month. Go me. I also spent a little bit of time this morning reading more of Rick Rubin's The Creative Act and then I journaled on it for a little bit. I am loving just getting little pieces of this every day. I feel like this is such a good way to start my April. Um, there's so many really just things in here. I am loving this book so much. And guys, we're already started on our April to-do list that we were gonna do this month. Look at us go. I'm feeling this is gonna be a good month. I think there's gonna be a lot of changes this month. I'm scared, but I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. Um, today, the rest of the day, the boys are at a golf tournament. So I'm just kind of, I think I already told you guys, I'm editing and I need to record a podcast today as well. That way tomorrow for Easter, I can just relax and enjoy Easter. Um, we also did our laundry yesterday, which I need to put away. So I didn't show you guys any of that. This is feeling like a very chill monthly reset. Sometimes I like get a big project for you guys, um, but I didn't include any of that. I actually keep forgetting to get clips. I literally replaced all my flowers just like I did last month and refreshed them and didn't put them on here, but I did that. And I think that's something I'm just gonna do every month from now on. I don't know, I just feel like I need a chiller monthly reset this month and kind of just have a very vloggy, version of it showing you guys what I'm doing as we go into this next month. I think it's going to be a hectic month, but a very fun one. I know next weekend, I forgot to tell you guys this also, next weekend, the first weekend of April, we're going to Vegas for a few days. Um, Ethan's, just for a night actually, but Ethan's uh, aunt and uncle are bringing their kids there and we want to go up and see his cousins and have dinner with them. I'm sure I'll end up vlogging it and you'll see whatever ends up happening in Vegas. So no worries about that. I think after this, I'm going to read some of Scythe. Um, like I said, I really want to finish this. I'm on page 204 right now, uh, but I'm currently exporting the YouTube video. I'm gonna make the thumbnail and then I am going to get it uploading so that it can post on Easter tomorrow, Easter present for everyone. Probably Monday, actually. I feel like no one's gonna watch it on Easter because everybody's gonna be with their families, but I'm also gonna put on some makeup because I have to go pick up the boys in about an hour and a half from their golf tournament, so. Hello. It has been a moment since we have been together. I just finished Scythe. Um, I rated, I literally just went to Goodreads immediately after and rated this book three stars. I think I said this in my last clip that I didn't find myself super like excited to continue on with the series. And I think after finishing it, I probably won't. It's not a bad book by any means, but it's definitely not something that I find a deep connection to. I'm not super obsessed with it. Um, it has a very interesting message. It has a very cool premise. I feel like I gained something from reading this, but I just didn't super enjoy it. Was not obsessed with it. It wasn't a page turner. Did I finish it in two days? Yes, but not because I like was dying to read it more because I was ready to get through it to move on to what I was going to read next. I feel like this is important to include in my wrap up vlog because I told you guys I was going to be reading this for book club um, and I did and here's me <laughs> finishing it um, and I wanted to let you guys know where I ended up with it. I don't know. It was just all right. It was just okay. And I think the main reason that I feel that way about it is because it's a YA and the older I get, the harder it is for me to really enjoy YA, not because I don't relate, because that's not really my issue, more because the themes are just not, they lack the depth that as an adult person I crave, especially when it comes to character relationships. I feel like the two apprentices in this book had really nothing um, together. Like they have like a romance, which is just like, her <laughs> them randomly literally randomly kissing one time and then her being like don't fall in love with me <laughs> and then at the end him being like i love you and she's like i know basically i don't know it was <laughs> it was kind of weird i don't really understand that part but definitely not 
obsessed with it. And I don't really think I like Neil Shusterman's writing style. It wasn't bad, like, again, by any means, not a bad book. It just, like, it wasn't, the prose weren't super great, um, and there was no real character relationship, so. Thankfully, I did find someone, I needed a sketch for the day, I hadn't done it yet, and I found someone on, um, YouTube who has the entire who has on their own recorded their own version of an audiobook for this book which like thank you so much for that I really appreciate it because I didn't want to buy the audiobook so I listened to his audiobook for the last like couple I for like a hundred pages and then I finished off the last 50 on my own so that's my thoughts on Scythe I probably won't be continuing on I have had this book since 2019 that's how long I've had it in my library, like five years. And I also have Thunderhead. I think I'm gonna be bringing these to um, Changing Hands and not keeping them in my library because I'm not super interested in continuing on. I've wanted to read this since 2019, 2018 or 2019. So I do feel good checking it off my list and getting it off my physical TBR. Go me. Um, it's been there for five years, so that's exciting. But besides that, it is what it is, it was what it was. Hello! It has been a few days since we last chatted. I just need to get a quick clip to finish out this vlog because there's one last thing we always do in these reset videos before I can end it and that is talk about the habits I formed this year and how I'm doing on them. Before I get into that though, I wanna mention one thing that I've started already for the month of May, or sorry, April. I'm like skipping months apparently. And that is, I have started reading The Creative Act by Rick Rubin. I am currently where that blue sticky note is, so I've read all of this. And guys, I mean, clearly I am thoroughly enjoying this. And I have not shut up about this. I've been telling my sister and all the people in my life that are close to me about all the different like meaning and just, <laughs> I wish I would have ordered this forever ago. I can't believe it took me this long to get my hands on it and start reading it. I was on the fence about whether I would like it or not. I am eating this up. I have decided to read it pretty slow. I'm only reading a couple diff the chapters are really short in here and I'm only reading a couple of them every day so that I can journal about it and really just like take in everything. There's so many things I'm learning from this that I feel like are impacting me in a positive way and like lessons I really need to learn about myself. So I've already gotten started on this for the next month and I just wanted you all to know Definitely recommend The Creative Act by Rick Rubin. Now, let's get into my habits. So, we're gonna start with my planning habit. I'm off and on using this. Um, I Sometimes this is really helpful for me and I need it. Some weeks I don't need it at all. It depends on what's going on at the time. And right now I'm kind of in a fly by the seat of my pants situation with videos. I don't have a lot of stuff planned out far in advance. So I use this as I need it. Definitely not as much as I was using it in the beginning of the year. I've also started keeping several different journals. I got these at Daiso when we went. I think I put this in one of my videos that I got these. So I have one that I use with my Bible, which new habit activated we've been reading scripture every day which is helping me a lot i think and this is where i keep notes on the scripture i'm reading and how i'm digesting it so i have this notebook for this and then i also have an ideas notebook where i just write down things that interest me as potential seeds for new creative projects and i used to use this as the place that i would write both of these things in it and i just have kind of diversified it a bit and i like it being separated out and not feel like I need to have a lot written down every week. So that's been kind of helpful. And I'm not relying on this as much. I'm still using it and I'm still making it a priority, but just not in the same way that I used to. Now, next, journaling. We have exciting news. There is only six pages left in this journal. So I'm gonna have to go get a new journal this weekend, which is really, really exciting for me. I was hoping that each quarter, basically, I would use one journal and I'm pretty close to that. We are on, it's April 4th day. So it is kind of further into the month. So it, this went further than just January, February, March, but that's okay. I'm just really proud of myself. I have never filled a whole journal in my life. This is the first time I've ever done that. And I've never journaled this many days consecutively. and. This continues to be, I feel like the three month mark is where I'm really starting to feel these habits hit me. Like I feel like I'm just now getting to the point where I flip through this and I read things I wrote and I start to see like just the impact this has had on me in such a real, real way. And I am able to go back at this and use some of my writings in my Instagram posts, in my art, um, 
I go back and I see things that I wrote and I'm like, wow, that was actually like really deep <laughs> that, that I wrote that. I can't believe I wrote that. And so, I don't know, I feel like I'm finally getting the full extent of this and it's turned into something much different than what it started as. In the beginning, I was just stream of conscious writing and now sometimes I write little excerpts of characters I've had living in my head for a long time. Sometimes I just write affirmations. Sometimes I write what I'm processing through the creative act. Sometimes I write about the Bible. Like, it's just like, so diverse and different and I've I've gotten so much out of this and it has helped me get inspired and I cannot Cannot tell you enough times how amazing this has been for me and just how much I recommend journaling every day Even if you only write down a sentence, please please use discipline. Please please do this I promise you it will change you as a person Some days I have a really difficult thing I want to talk about and this is who I talk about it with sometimes I want to Talk to younger me. This is where I talk to her like I just can't even begin to tell you how important this tool is. Last thing we're gonna talk about is um, drawing every day. I have stopped drawing, sketching physically very much. I mostly sketch digitally now, which is cool because I kind of started, I started as a digital artist. That's where I'm drawn to naturally. And that's what I wanted to get to eventually. I just feel like when I would draw on my iPad, I just couldn't capture things the way that I was physically in a sketchbook. So I have greatly switched gears from just drawing whatever I wanted to mostly drawing figures. One of the reasons that I want to get better at drawing was specifically so I could draw fan art. And I have never been good at drawing the human figure or the human face. Like I'm terrible at it. I can draw animals all day long, but humans, not so much. I'm gonna put here a drawing I did at the beginning of January. She's bad, okay? And I know that and you know that and that's okay. And it's like semi-embarrassing showing this. I really was terrible at drawing people, but as the year has progressed, and now that I'm three months in, I'm starting to make things like this, which is so cool. I just, I feel like I'm really seeing myself grow and expand and get a kind of a style and also get better at different things, branching out. Um, I'm really good at the top half of the body. I've like, I'm getting better arms. I definitely understand like the face very well now. I'm getting better at a three quarter profile and like straight on and to the side and stuff like that. Uh, the rest of the body is a different story. I'm still figuring out like how the body sits. And I feel like every time I learn a pose, I have to learn a different pose. And like basically, instead of just learning how to draw the body, you have to learn how to draw the body from every single angle, it's like a different thing. It's like a whole different thing you're learning how to draw, which is crazy. Um, I do see myself looking at things differently now. Like when I see someone's face, sometimes I'll, I'll mentally be like drawing out their features in my head. Like, oh, how would I draw that? How would I shade that? Like, which is an interesting change in my brain recently. And I feel like this is the culmination of three months of work that is finally hitting you. And just goes to show you when you start habits like this, like right off the bat, you're not gonna get things right away. It's kind of something that comes from being piled and piled and piled and piled. It's kind of like a, a, a pearl, right? Like in an oyster shell, like it starts as a little piece of sand and then it gets like layered over it and layered over it and layered over it and layered over it until it's a pearl. And that's how I feel about these habits. Like they started as little grains of sand, just little doodles I was doing or little things I was writing. And then as I've continued this habit and continued to lay on layers and layers and layers of months of work, I'm getting my pearls and I'm getting these things that like, I thought, like, you think it's gonna happen right away, but it doesn't. It takes a while of doing the habit before you get the benefits. So, if any of you are journaling or drawing along with me, I hope you're experiencing the same way. If you're not journaling or drawing, or you're not doing your habit every day, whatever that might be, I hope you get into it. I'm really proud of myself for finally picking up my Bible and reading scripture. Again, I feel like at the beginning of the year, I wanted to do that every day, and it just was not happening, and now I'm getting into it. And I think it's because of my other habits that they're ingrained into my schedule now adding another one on like this is not very hard for me. So it doesn't take very much out of my day to just add a little bit of scripture reading as well. So very happy with how everything's going and I'm excited for the month of April. I feel like it's gonna be a month of big change for me and I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I have a big trip coming up and it's gonna be a good time, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I think this is kind of a weird reset compared to other ones. It's a little all over the place, more vlog style, um, but I hope you guys like, and I will see you guys in the next monthly reset. Subscribe, like, comment, tell me about your month. As usual, guys, I, it's literally something different every week here. You never know what's gonna happen. We never know what we're getting. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later, bye. Then I already know what it is. The best thing you could ever wanna wish for at the best time of the year. National Friends Day. Uh. 
I'm as green as I wanna be. Cruising through the 